Can we turn to Scotland? And Nicola Sturgeon has said that she's going to turn the next general election into a de facto referendum on Scottish independence. Will she get away with that? Well, that remains to be seen. She can certainly try to do it, but the other parties, the, um, the pro-union parties like the Conservatives and Labour, Scottish they're under no obligation the to treat the next election in Scotland in the way that Nicola Sturgeon wants them to. I think it is a huge uh, political gamble that she's taken, and, and it's not just me saying that. There's a lot of people within the SNP that I've spoken to are also um, concerned, to, to put it mildly, that this is a gamble which ultimately will not pay off and that um, the, the net result will be the cause of independence being put back for a very long time indeed. So, um, so yes, yeah, she's rather been boxed into a corner by the Supreme Court judgment, which basically said that the Scottish Parliament doesn't have the power to legislate for its own independence referendum. So she said, well, we've got no other option now. Um, the only way we can put it to the people is at the next general election. But, you know, a single issue general election um, is very unusual. I can't, I can't remember one before. And as I say, why would voters just want to um, vote on one thing when at the moment we've got rising energy bills, rising inflation, interest rates, cost of living crisis? You know, it's almost, um, you're almost insulting the voters really by telling them you can only vote on one issue when, as I say, in a general election, there's a whole multitude of things that people are casting their vote on. Well, they've been riding high in the, you know, for a long time when it comes to, to uh, elections in Scotland. The, I mean, the SNP have done incredibly well. There's no two ways about it. But hit, they've never hit 50% of the vote before. And, and, and really, if she's going to have any mandate at all for pushing even further, under her own terms here, she's got to get more than 50% of the vote. Now, that, as you say, that's a huge gamble. It is. I mean, I think what they're talking about doing is counting uh, votes for the Scottish Greens, who are also pro-independence. Alex Salmon's party, ALBA, um, they're obviously pro-independence, so the, their votes would be counted as well, which is a little bit strange given the ill feeling there is between Nicola Sturgeon and Alex Salmon, so I'm not sure. Would, would they have to share a platform in, in the election campaign? Can't see that happening somehow. So, um, so yeah, you're right. Even when um, they've been riding high... Uh, the, the SNP themselves have never hit 50%. And that's basically because Scottish politics is still split down the middle. Scottish public opinion is pretty much 50-50 on independence. And even if they were to get over that 50% threshold, there's no obligation then on the UK government to accept what the SNP are saying. And the international community as well probably would want to kind of balk at any um, suggestion that, that, that they might row in behind Scotland against Westminster. So, yeah, it would throw up all sorts of constitutional questions, as well as um, being just, um, a, as I say, a huge political gamble.